Real quick before the video gets started, we've got shirts designed by yours truly available in large, extra large, and 2XL. If you're interested in picking up one to support the channel, check the link in the description below. On to the video. Welcome back to another Tech Junkie video. Today's video, I'm going to be heading over to the Dodge dealership where I bought my TRX and my Durango uh, because they got something in that I want to see in person. Uh, they got a 2021 Dodge Challenger uh, 392 TA edition. I saw one at a car show. I was eyeballing a Destroyer Gray TA Challenger about three years ago and I never ended up getting it. Um, but I've always been fascinated with those considering you see 392 scat packs, you see RTs, uh, you see those a lot. But uh, very, I see more Hellcats than I do um, the TA models. And uh, I understand that it's just a 392 motor and all that good stuff, but they're, I like stuff that I don't get to see all the time. So we're gonna head over to the Dodge dealership and see if we can scope it out. My apologies for the lighting. It's a little later here. Uh, it's not quite sunset yet, but uh, if I wait, I may lose all the opportunity. Uh, inventory is scarce at my local Dodge dealer right now. They've only got two challengers of any kind, much less a, a TA and uh, it's Gold Rush, which is the first year that this color was available um, for this model car. Last year they did the 50th anniversary in Gold Rush, but only the 50th anniversary cars were available in Gold Rush. So this is the first year, 2021 model year, that the Gold Rush color has been available to anything other than the 50th anniversary edition models. Uh, and it's still only available in the TA uh, package, whether that's a standard or a wide body or the Hellcat in the Hellcat wide body. So the, the higher end trim levels are only available in the Gold Rush. I'm not usually a big fan of uh, yellow or gold, uh, but this one has uh, the black hood, uh, the black roof, and. The, uh, the black spoiler that's stuff that I'm a fan of I, if you add black to any color I'm willing to at least take a look now will I buy this car um, who knows I didn't think I was going to buy the Durango or the TRX I ended up with both of those um, you know we have the Hellcat uh, but in my opinion the the SRT 392 models are better as a daily driver than the Hellcats are so I look at it tonight, I may buy it next week. I don't know yet, but uh, I wanna go look, take a look. This is something that I've never seen in person. I've seen one Gold Rush in a, in a GT, which is a V6. I've never seen one in a 392. And this thing is almost $60,000. It's trimmed all the way out. So I at least wanna do my due diligence and take a look at it. So we're gonna head over to the Dodge dealer and hope that it's still there. As of this morning, it was there, but it's Saturday and uh, their inventory levels are extremely low. Only two challengers on the lot of all their inventory, two challengers. So we'll see. And we're back in Dodge. I hope that car is still here. I wouldn't be surprised if they already sold it. Saturdays are generally busy. You only got two, got two cars on the lot that model it may be gone it's not on the showroom let's go see if we can find it oh yeah it's, oh yeah it's here i tell you yellow is not my color gold is not my color but that but those black accents make that thing really something i would consider what do you guys think make this my daily driver park the durango What do you think? Make this my daily driver and park the Durango? I, mean, I don't mean sell the Durango. I mean... It's nice. It reminds me of a Ninja Turtle. A Ninja Turtle. I don't know. Maybe it's because the color and then the way these come out. It just it gives me a Ninja Turtle vibe. I'm I feeling know, it. What almost, do you guys think? <laughs> this thing's 60 grand. Oh. 55. That's one expensive Ninja Turtle. Looks like Alcantara inserts. And it's a manual. I don't know about it being a manual as a daily driver. I had a Scat Pack 392 2018 that was a manual. And I love driving a manual when it's just for leisure, but as a daily driver in a congested city with a lot of construction, it's tedious. 
but it's so nice, I might have to make an exception. I wanted to get some more footage of this car in the daylight before I put the video together. I had those wheels on my Daytona, but they look better on the wide body than they did on my Daytona. This color looks better at night than it does during the day. What do you guys think? New daily driver. Put the Durango in the garage. Just let it appreciate. I can dig it. Never driven a wide body before, unless you count the T-Rex. All right, I gotta say I was impressed, pleasantly surprised. I normally don't do yellow or gold, like I said. Um, but I liked it. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I couldn't get inside the car because it's obviously locked. It's closing time and I, I'm not going to hold anybody up. They're closed tomorrow. So anything that can happen tonight isn't going to happen until Monday anyway. And uh, my sales rep that I always deal with, Jim, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's out of town for several days. He won't be back till the middle of next week. The car just came off the truck. Hasn't been, you know, hasn't been checked in yet and inspected. That's why it's parked in the back lot. So we have some time to consider our options. I did uh, stop in and speak with the lady who did our financial deals for the for uh, for my mom's Jeep and for the Durango, and uh, told her to call me if it goes on the showroom floor. Um, but I'm not going to deal with anyone else as far as sales rep goes until Jim gets back. So any decision that I make won't happen until you know the next four or five days has passed anyway. So what do you guys think? Uh, park the Durango in the garage and pick up the TA as my daily driver. Like I said, I did have a scat pack that was a manual and it, it was really tedious driving a manual in traffic where there's a lot of road construction a lot of road construction and congestion it's it's not it's not a fun car to drive when you get stuck and you stop and start and stop and start but i can drive a manual and i do like that car drop a comment down below gold rush ta392 as a daily driver if i was to buy it just what i always say i got the hellcat challenger well i got the hellcat durango and the ta392 so who's really winning if you guys like this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified for all the videos i appreciate you guys watching these videos and uh y'all take it easy